Dunkirk, New York. It's late September. 40 of the top walleye professionals in the country have made the trip to the shores of Lake Erie for the last stop of the season. We've got two days of fishing ahead. Then we'll cut to the top 10 for the third and final day. There's more than $475,000 up for grabs this week. In addition to the championship, we'll also award the 2022 Lucas Oil and Marine Angler of the Year. Welcome to the big waters of Lake Erie. It's championship time. Right here on the biggest stage in the sport, the National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Getting right into day one coverage, we'll kick things off with the Lucas Oil and Marine Angler of the Year points race. Kevin McQuoid has been at or near the top of the field for much of the season. Coming into this week, his goal is to make it to day three. So if I can make day three of this tournament where the top 10 fish day three, that's my goal right now, because then mathematically, it doesn't matter where second place is. Campbell Sport Wisconsin's Max Wilson is circling just behind him in second. It'd be awesome. It'd be one of the biggest achievements in my career. But you know what? At the end of the day, I have to go out and I got to go catch five walleyes. You know, Tommy Scarless, you know, the best story I could tell people is back in the day uh, when I was fishing the, the MWC, me and Isaac were chasing team of the year. And I went up to Tommy and I asked him, I was like, what do I do before a tournament? I was like, do I play it safe for the points or do I go swing for it? And in certain terms, um, he said, you try and go win every single one of them and you make them take that trophy away from you. So that's that's been my mindset this week. Go out and win it and the rest will fall into place. So, so I'm gonna go down swinging forward and uh, I'm pretty excited to get out and go do some fishing because I'm, I'm doing, doing what I like. And what he likes doing is jigging. Fishing with co-angler Tim Berg. They're out deep using forward facing sonar to locate walleye. Once located, they'll make strategic casts with a slab and spoon. What I'm mimicking is a dying smelt. And you know, when you snap it up, it goes up really fast and then it flutters down. And that purple and chartreuse really mimics a smelt. And as you can tell, it's caught a couple of fish this week. Max knows what it takes to win on the big stage. He's done it before. The biggest challenge out here is serious mitigating problem. problems. Robert. Some things though, really you just can't fix. I'm on a Red Bull. That's yeah, not good. Cabela's pro Kevin McCoy has been at the top of the AOI standings for most of the season. He is your odds-on favorite to win. Trolling a variety of presentations, he's got the water column covered. He's just not on the same fish. Right. Another one, I think we're just gonna release this one again. It's about three and a quarter. Looking for that over, and it might be even longer than that. But we're not ready. So I, I only have two, or we only have two in the live wall right now for probably um, eight and a half, nine pounds. So we're, we've got some work to do here, but we're, uh, we're in the right spot to get her done. Back on Max Wilson. There we go. Sticking with the jigging spoon, he and co-angler Tim Berg have put two in the live well, but he's having a hard time keeping fish okay. buttoned up. Fishing in 70 feet of water, a solid hook set seems hard to come by. challenge here is to keep it together. Not high strung at all. It's even middle of the road. Calm, cool, and collect. Oh, I hate this. Ah, why every time I get a good one, I have to freaking lose it. You can say Max is one of those that this fishes with his heart on his sleeve. This is a good one, dude. Mother! Why, man? Why every time I get a big one on this lake? You always know what he's thinking, but once he yeah. finds his rhythm, he can be hard to Boom, stop. Baby. Boom. Boom, baby. Go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I got you. That's right. That's a beautiful five pounder. Back at Chadwick Bay Marina in Dunkirk, New York. As expected, most of the field brought in their five fish right. limit. Checking the top of the Lucas Oil and Marine points race, Max Wilson weighed five for 25.83. He's inside the top 20 at 16th. Didn't expect that. Kevin McCoy never found that big bite. He'll finish the day in 39th with a lot of ground to make up. Dwayne Jelm. His friends call him Dewey. And man, he's been on top of his game this season. Picking up a win and a second place in the last two events, he'll finish today in 23rd. That's a good start. Yeah, that's a good start. Uh, we, we had a dead fish in there, so that cost us a little bit. 
John Hoyer won it all back in 2019. He's We're gonna got get five. this started off in an awesome way. 39-81. There we go. Now then. It was the day of days. Um, you know, 40-pound bags on Lake Erie generally only happen in the spring, but it's definitely, um, you know, the probability of it is there. There's a lot of big walleyes in this lake. They're just outnumbered by little ones that really like to bite. So uh, my decision today was to go for lower number of bites and hopefully higher quality. And I mean, I was so blessed with A, the conditions, and B, those three, like literally 30 inch bites that we had. Gary Marr coming up. Gary notched his first tour win this year in Prairie du Chien. Paired up with 2019 co-angler champion, Drake yeah, McCarthy. Here's the call. 30, 69, folks. Gary's in second. You've got to get him for two days to get to that final day. Tomorrow's another day. So what are your expectations for tomorrow? Uh, if they bite, I hope I get what I had today, but it's going to be, you know, you got to get kind of lucky too to get some of the bigger fish. Are you nervous about tomorrow at all? Oh, I'm always nervous because <laughs> you never know what's going to happen out there. Here's a look at your top 10 pros at the end of day one. Coming up, we'll launch day two from Chadwick Bay Marina in Dunkirk, New York right here on the National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Trust, it comes from experience. Long seasons, short nights. Lessons learned and shared. Sometimes it's easy, but usually it isn't. Seasons come and go few things last. And the ones that do are the ones you trust. Every day on the water is a blank canvas. You can reach new waters and ride endless waves. So drop the hammer or the anchor and let adventure be your guide. Mercury engines are made for exploring. So are you. Go boldly. At Lucas Oil, we take pride in creating problem-solving products to make your car care easier. We protect your vehicle and make it run longer so you can focus on the things that matter most. Whether it's commuting to work, visiting a loved one, taking the kids where they need to go, going to the big game, or anywhere life takes you. Lucas Oil is committed to getting you there for all of life's important moments. Lucas Oil, it works. The 2022 season of the National Walleye Tour is presented to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Ranger boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Mercury Marine Outboards, go boldly. Day two of the 2022 National Walleye Tour Championship. It's cut day. Only the top 10 will move on to fish for the championship title and the lion's share of the more than $475,000 up for grabs. This morning, all eyes are on John Hoyer. Sacking up 39 pounds on day one, he'll launch this morning with a nine pound lead over the rest of the field. And the scary part is, he thinks he can do it again. How you feeling today? Uh, I feel like yesterday was actually believable. I don't want to sound arrogant or anything, but Lake Erie's got big walleyes, and uh, I was lucky enough to find a few in practice. So uh, I'm happy I laid off them yesterday. I know I'm going to need a couple key bites, but my plan is to literally try to shut the door today. I want the same weight as yesterday, and then it'll make day three literally the funnest day of fishing in my life with just an easy 25 pounds. So. You gotta always leave it out of the water a little bit, you know, make your presence felt. Yeah. <laughs> a little scare technique. Outside of the top spot, the weights are actually close, with less than five pounds separating the top 20. And here on Erie, that's just one good bite. The man with the best shot at Hoyer, and the experience to make it happen, is Ranger Mercury Pro Gary Marr. No pressure on him because you see three folks in this next boat. That means he is in the top three this morning going out. Gary Marr, boat 17, Neil Wilkerson, looking for a big paycheck. 
I need some luck. Find okay. find some fish that are they're fish here, but yep. they're not real active. So we just got out of here. Tell me a little bit about what we're doing. Huh? We're pulling dipsy divers, and uh, we got some spoons on, and I guess we got one crankbait on, um, a big one, and uh, we're just trying to get some of these fish that are a little more active on here. Sometimes you can go over these schools and they just won't bite and come back two hours later and they might be on fire. So just uh, try to find some more active ones. Back on John Hoyer and co-angler Eric Vett. While most of the field is out deep, Hoyer is targeting shallow fish. Keying on weed beds and six to 12 foot, he's casting a Berkeley Champ swimmer to active fish. Cast over there to uh, Eric. Which way? I know, they're right of the sun. Long cast. Just like that, bank back the target. Yep. excitement to look at those fish on my active target and watch them start moving and darting around in my lure and then and then all of a sudden feel them just smoke with them. There's just a ton of food in the area and they're on a whole different schedule. They're not open water fish you know chasing smelt or um, shiners or anything. They're kind of settled into a few different little spots and all the food's right there. They just turn on and off and when they turn on it is pretty amazing. Right here. A nicer one. Yeah. Had it. Nice. I feel like a Labrador when you say ball or treat. My ears perk up, I see them moving, and then tick. And they choke the champs with it. <laughs> With six pounds, you get to go in without a call tag. Yeah, so this is the area I came in second yesterday with, I mean, all my weight, 39 pounds, but I knew I needed to look at it a little bit, so there's a lot of fish in here. Um, I just haven't caught anything over, you know, that six pounder is the biggest one I've caught out of here out of six fish now. So came in here knowing that I wanted to s settle down, work slowly, and we're not leaving here until we get a limit. So I just found another big pot of them right over there. And uh, there's a really good chance there's some 28 inches mixed in. And uh, we know what they like, so it's only a matter of time. The Berkeley Champ Swimmer and the forward-facing sonar John is using is available at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Shop online or visit one of their retail stores for the best in local selection. Coming up, we're back on the water for the rest of day two from Lake Erie and Dunkirk, New York, right here on the National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. I've been my living on the water for over 20 years. For 14 years. For over 23 years. I've worn a bunch of different clothing brands over the years. Some companies big. And some companies small. All of them said they were making clothing for us. But none of them knew us. None of them were us. Except for one. Except for one. Except one. AFCO. 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 Fishing isn't part of us. It is us. The best way to connect with the outdoors is to get outdoors. From setting up trail cameras and tending food plots to getting to your spot before dawn. At every point of the hunting season, a tracker off-road ATV or side-by-side -side can be counted on to get the job done. Enjoy American-made quality and the great outdoors without breaking the bank. Tracker off-road, built for the love of country change it's inevitable to improve you must adapt 
the sport is evolving. A paradigm shift is a fundamental change of basic concepts. Don't get left behind. Introducing Paradigm. Paradigm Reels by Ducket Fishing. Pro-driven. The National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, is also brought to you by Triton Boats, the driving force of performance fishing. Aftco, any fish, any water. By Ducket Fishing, pro-driven. And by Nitro Boats, pro-level performance. Welcome back. We're in Dunkirk, New York, halfway between Buffalo and Erie, Pennsylvania, on the shores of Lake Erie. This is day two of the 2022 National Walleye Tour Championship, and Dunkirk is having a party. We'll get back to Chadwick Harbor in a bit, but back on the water, there's better than 400 grand up for grabs, and in just a couple of hours, the field cuts down to the top 10. Gary Marr is launched this morning in second alongside co-angler Neil Wilkinson. His program is pulling deep. It's not what he's used to, but that's what's working. It's a start. Uh, I think there's more fish over uh, than the second spot. The fish over there just weren't cooperating the best yet. Uh, so we're going to make a pass through here and see if we can find these guys back and uh, maybe catch a couple. What are you seeing so far? Nothing. <laughs> But we'll swing back and forth, and there's scattered pods of schools around here, so we can just find one here and uh, catch a couple. Austin Rosalski launched this morning in fourth, Dude, sacking up 30 it. odd six on day one. He's Did in I? the mix, no. fishing with co anchor no, Wesley Ruff. They've Even got that? a limit. This one should help. A nice oh. scoop, bro. But he's a long way from the leader. Four and a half. Probably. What John did yesterday blindsided everybody. I thought maybe there would be a couple 32 or 33 pound bags. I really did not think anybody was going to push a 40 pound bag. So I think that's all going to come down to if anybody else figured that program out or if John can do it again. That was, that was pretty impressive. And back on Hoyer. Sticking with his program, he's up shallow, casting Berkeley champ swimmers around grass. And he's beginning to run away with it. This is a big one. Right. Coming up. Get ready. Whoa! There we go. Whoa! Oh, yes. My gosh! Oh! What a giant! <laughs> I can't believe we found another one of these today, yeah. buddy. <laughs> Good job. Oh my gosh, I saw it out there and it was almost too bright to be true. Sitting right by a weed and uh, it nipped it and I was like, no way. And then it just smoked it. Sweet. Oh my goodness. National Walleye Tour is already gearing up for the 2023 season. For schedules, registration, and more, look us up at nationalwalleytour.com. Coming up, we're headed to weigh-in. Only the top 10 advance for a shot at the title, the cash, and the trophy. Right here on the National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Born in Japan, using technology, innovation, and precision, Sunline produces the widest selection of fishing lines at the most technologically advanced line factory in the world. Manufactured God, at the strictest amazing, tolerances dude. to produce victories at the highest levels of tournament yes, bass fishing, sir. from household names like Christie, Swindle, and Cruz, to young guns like Cook, Logan, New, and Welcher, they all trust Sunline to take them to the top of the leaderboard. Choose the line that will give you the strength to guarantee your confidence. Sunline. Things you let me see. 
trust. It comes from experience. Long seasons, short nights. Lessons learned and shared. Sometimes it's easy. But usually it isn't. Seasons come and go. And few things last. And the ones that do are the ones you trust. The National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, is also brought to you by TH Marine. From transom to trolling motor. Sunline, the strength to guarantee confidence. And by Lucas Oil and High Performance Marine Products. Back in Chadwick Bay Marina in Dunkirk, New York, this is day two of the 2022 National Walleye Tour Championship. Only the top 10 in each division will move on to fish the final day for a shot at the title, the trophy, and a part of the $479,000 total purse. Nitro Pro Keith Cavallas knows what it takes to win. He put himself in position, finishing ninth with a two-day total of 53 pounds even. So moving up into the top five will be my goal tomorrow, and I think I'm going to probably need 28 to 30 pounds to do that. Checking some of the featured anglers this week, Kevin McCoy had Angler of the Year in his grasp, but Erie had different ideas, and Kevin finished outside the money in 34th. Eric McCoy was your reigning 2022 Tour Champion. He'll finish the season one spot ahead of his dad in 33rd. Gary Marr launched this morning in second. He had a rough day and fell down a few spots. So we'll see him next year. 2021 Lucas Oil and Marine Angler of the Year Drake Hurd will fish tomorrow. Qualifying with a two-day total of 53-53, he'll launch in seventh. Max Wilson keeps his hopes alive for Angler of the Year and a shot at the title with a fifth place finish and two-day total of 54.08. Jason Shakirat has two NWT championships under his belt. Gunning for his third, he'll qualify fourth with 56-17. Way to go! It's been a fun week, you know, catching, I don't know, we'll probably catch 40 fish a day and and uh, just had awesome weather, so we got to do it one more day and see where we end up. Adam Anderson holds on to his third place spot with a two day total of 56.90. Dwayne Jelm has been red hot this season, cashing in over $130,000 in the last two events. He's not only locked in for championship day, he's back inside the top two for the third event in a row. Last name, my whole goal for this thing was just to make the top 10. Um, I, I really, going out this morning, I told my partner, Tim, I was like, I do not want this to be my last day fishing for the season, tournament day. And, uh, you know, we went out and we did, we executed perfectly. We lost maybe a couple of fish, but they weren't big ones anyways. Um, Tim, he, he was a hammer. He caught them really, really well today. And uh, yeah, today was, it went perfect. Berkeley Sims pro John Hoyer launched this morning with a nine pound lead over the rest of the field. Now, we'll turn it over to the tournament director on stage with the call. You're kidding, another 30 pound bag, 30, 79, 70, 60 for your two day total. It was definitely a different day for us. Um, Eric started off with a hot hand and uh, luckily got you know the first two in the live well. And it was so weird, the water had cooled down and like these big, annoying pike moved in. So then I, at one point I was even gun shy to set the hook as hard as I wanted to. And um, the reason was, is I didn't have enough of the lures I was using. So snap them out. Yeah, right. But um, you know, slowly but surely we started moving around, like I said yesterday, to some of the stuff that we hadn't hit yet. And uh, lo and behold, there were still some walleyes in there. And we had a limit, that felt good. And then a six pounder, that felt great, upgrade. And then I saw this one and it was like, I stared at it for probably 90 seconds. I'm like, I don't even know if that's a fish. And I threw it over there and it like instantly moved. And I was like, oh my gosh. And it, it was like tick and it missed it. And uh, I ripped my bait up one more time and it just smoked it. So that was one of those unicorns from yesterday, like a 30 inch or so. Uh, then the camera guy decided to fly the drone up and almost on cue we got a, a like a six and three quarter pounder so it was, it's an awesome day. Here's a look at the top 10 qualifiers on both the pro and the co-angler divisions. 
Hoyer has a 10-pound lead and will be tough to beat. On the co-angler side, Colin Martin has the advantage. Sitting there with no bites at 10.30 really makes you wonder what's going to happen for the following hours to come. Um, but, you know, we finally did put something together. And uh, I'm, I'm just thankful to be in this spot right now and definitely hopefully have a chance at it tomorrow. That'll do it for this week. Join us next time when we wrap up the season with Day 3 from Lake Erie and Dunkirk, New York. Right here on the National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's.